Nearly okay? No. I have to give a speech in front of the entire assembly. Oh. Got a little stage fright? Unfortunately so. Just thinking about it causes my bladder to misbehave. Yeah, I've been there. You have? Sure. When I first started coaching, I was real nervous to talk to the team, you know, give a locker room speech. And then one day it dawned on me. I'm not just talking to football players. I'm talking to teenage football players. Most of them aren't listening to a word I'm saying. That's an interesting perspective. I'll tell you something else. You don't give yourself enough credit for how brave you are. I don't? No, Sheldon, you are 10 years old going to high school. Everyone's older than you, everyone's bigger than you, but you keep at it day after day. That's brave. Any kid that could do that could give a speech to the United Nations if he had to. What do you want? Grab your stuff. Your mama wants you home. Yeah? Well, when she wants me to come home, she can call me. Damn it, Veronica. I'm in no mood. What's going on? I'm taking her home. She's not going anywhere with you. What'd you say? Couldn't stop. You mind putting down my kid? <laughs> He's just playing around. This is my mom's boyfriend, Clint. Hello, Clint. What can we do for you? I'm here to pick up Veronica. Come on. You want to go with this man? No, sir. You heard her. Thanks for stopping by. You really want to mess with me? Sure. Why not? What's going on out there? You might want to call the police. Why? There's a bum sleeping on our front porch. Now what? Those people at NASA never responded to his sign stuff. Damn it. I've had enough of this. Sheldon, get up. What's the point? We're going to Houston. Really? Yeah. You and me are going to give those space monkeys a little talking to. I often found my father to be a strange and puzzling man, but at that moment, I never loved him more. If you want to see Stephen Hawking, we have to sit down right now. It's too dangerous. I can't. It's OK to be scared. That, that's when you got to dig deep and be brave. What do you say? No, I'm your terrified little boy. OK. Sir, please, they're going to call security. Just one more second. Mr. Spock, he flies around all the time in that spaceship. He's not afraid, is he? I'm not Mr. Spock. No, but, but I've seen you pretend to be him. Could you do that right now? You be Spock, I'll be Kirk. Maybe. OK, Mr. Spock. Your first order is to return to your seat. Aye, Captain. Flight attendants, prepare for takeoff. You OK, Mr. Spock? Doing my best, sir. Mr. Spock, don't hold hands. Sorry? Didn't pass. Sheldon, I'm real sorry. I'll tell you a secret. Never understood how lightning works. Didn't they teach you that in high school? They probably did, but I got hit in the head a lot playing football. Would you explain it to me? Well, when positive and negative charges grow large enough, a giant spark occurs in the cloud. Well, that's, that's pretty cool. What causes the thunder? It's a shock wave from particles heated to 10,000 degrees. Interesting. You want to know what's really interesting? Hmm. Aristotle thought the sound of thunder was due to a collision between two clouds. He believed the clouds were expelling air in the way a log on a fire crackles. I didn't realize until years later that my father was only asking questions about lightning and thunder to cheer me up. In fact, he would often pretend to be dumb just to make me feel better. Looks like rain. My brother, on the other hand, didn't have to pretend. 